Hey world, here to give you an update on my garden and show you my broccoli harvest. First, my camera on them would pan around. Got raspberries over here, we're showing now. Coming closer, we've got the cabbage, or no, cauliflower. Uh, behind that, lettuce. And then over here where I am, broccoli. Off to the right, we got a bed working on beans. Looks like I need to plant some more. Germination wasn't so great. Peas in the background back there. Over to the right, or over to uh, my right, your left, more broccoli and spinach. So, gonna show some uh, broccoli harvest here and some nice sharp shears come up here. Show you. I think I'm probably a little late to be honest. I was told you want to do it when uh, it's about the size of a match head, these uh, little individual heads, and that looks to be about where we are. Let me just kind of get down in here and do it about um, six inches below the below the head. Pause. <laughs> uh, this is a real large uh, stem. I really hate to cut off these big old leaves here, but got to do what you got to do. So, got that, and I'll cut that off, cut that off, that, just cut off all these leaves, and here we go. Got a nice looking, uh, Head of broccoli to munch on tomorrow. Doesn't smell like anything. Don't remember what variety it is, but it will show back down here again. Now that I've cut it off, these side shoots will start to take off. And you can get a couple more harvests that way. Cut this one off down here too. And I won't show you harvesting all of it because that'll be boring but I am gonna walk up here show you my flowers and strawberries all right let's go show them follow me oh. <laughs> okay got some random flowers in here flocks are flowering uh, larkspurs or something I think these are called it's gonna get quite big. Pretty sure that's gonna all throw in all crazy and be a huge mess. Random landscaping. And up here, basically, uh, over here, I got some volunteers. Look to me to be um, probably straw flowers, or no, calendulas, probably. This whole random patch in here. And then basically, front type stuff is straw flowers tom thumb variety then we get into uh, some dahlias a mix from uh, baker seeds behind that is uh, the calendulas then zinnias and then closer to the walkway there's still some leftover petunias from earlier in the season and uh, dahlias a border of dahlias on the back side on the other side of the walkway are uh snapdragons so this way follow me over here i have a couple of things okay strawberry beds this one has been around for a while just replanted some new ones uh and this year my mom did and then over here is a more recent bed that, you know, as the bed gets older, it sort of dies out and you need to replant some more. But this one's newer and fresher. And I'm trying to just force this runner over to an area where it's useful. And there's that bed of strawberries. These are ever-bearing varieties. Get a, get in the, should get a nice harvest out of those. You can see. Up here, this is just some bird netting to hopefully keep the birds from eating my berries. Last thing, two new strawberry beds. 
I just planted those yesterday or two days ago. Can't remember. They're June bearing varieties. And in here are my mostly tomato and some uh, Trinidad scorpion peppers. These will go into the garden uh, in a couple of weeks when I pull out all the broccoli and lettuce and everything. So that's that. And that's the latest from my garden. Thanks for watching and I'll be back when I got something worth showing.